Welcome to this video. I will show you how to create a Mac One instance on Amazon EC2. Yes, that's right. An Apple Macintosh running in the cloud. But why do you want to run your Mac instance in the cloud? If you're iOS, tvOS, watchOS, macOS developer, you probably need build environment, test environment. And provisioning farms of Mac Mini, it's quite, quite laborious, it's difficult to do at scale. So what if we combine the two? You can get a Mac Mini with all the things that you know and love from Amazon EC2 instance. Because we are combining Nitro, the chipset we use for virtualization in our data center, with a Mac Mini hardware. So you can get EBS, EBS snapshots, VPC, security group, all the things you learn and you love from Amazon EC2, but for a Mac Mini on top of which you can run um, Mac OS. I'm Sebastian Stormack, I'm developer advocate. Let's dive into a demo to see how it works. And for the demo, I'm obviously starting with the EC2 launch console. So I'm going to create an instance just like I'm doing usually, launch instance. I choose Mac OS Catalina as the operating system. And I choose the only one instance running it, it's Mac One Metal. It's a metal, so we need a dedicated host, and that's a bit different from traditional EC2 instance. You need to allocate a physical host to run your instance. Um, that allocation is done per period of 24 hours, so it has a pricing impact. You choose Mac 1 instance family, you choose Mac 1 metal, and the availability zone where you want your uh, physical Mac Mini to, to, to be. You allocate a Mac Mini and that's it. I have a hardware now. I can start my EC2 instance on that uh, hardware. So going back to my launch wizard, I refresh the list and choose the allocation, the hardware allocation that I just uh, choose uh, for, for me. Then the rest is normal. You choose the size of your EBS volume, let's take 300 gigabyte because it's a development machine. Uh, remember that you can encrypt your EBS volume with no performance impact thanks to the Nitro hardware. So I choose to encrypt and then I create my security group. And as usual, I only authorize SSH only coming from my current IP uh, address. So port is 22 and I choose my current VPN provided uh, IP address to connect to that instances. I can review all the details and launch. And just like usual, I give my SSH keeper. Obviously I have already an SSH keeper in that region. So the instance will start quite quickly. Uh, going back to the EC2 management console, you will see it running uh, very quickly. Um, but the operating system takes a while to be provisioned and to, to boot. So it's a good moment to take a coffee, stretch your legs and come back a bit later. But once you come back, you can open a terminal and just make your regular SSH EC2 user. Here, my key is already in my SSH agent, so I don't need the minus uh, I. And you can see it's a Darwin kernel running on EU West One compute internal. Uh, it's an Amazon EC2 instance running. So what about graphical connection? Uh, for graphical user interface, I need VNC. VNC is not enabled by default. So to enable it, uh, the first thing I'm doing is to put a password on the EC2 user. Uh, there is no password when you uh, first start, so type any strong password you want for your EC2 user. Once you have a password, you enable the VNC server uh, and there is one long command to type. That command, I provide it for you on my GIST and the URL is available here, so you can just copy paste that command. Once it is done, I will tr uh, tunnel the VNC traffic over SSH because VNC is not secure. I don't want to open 5900 on my security group. So I'm just saying everything that connects to localhost 5900, please forward over SSH to 5900 on that server. So my tunnel is in place. In any browser, I start VNC colon slash slash localhost and that will start the screen sharing application which is built in into your, your Mac. Uh, first thing to do is to authenticate with VNC itself. Uh, so EC2 user and the strong password I typed just before. And then I receive the macOS login screen. I type the password again and a session is starting and you will see it's totally normal regular mac os instance except that it's running in the cloud on an ebs volume inside a vpc 
if I open the terminal, you can see that it's the same instance as the one I connect over SSH uh, just before. Um, you can start to install Xcode and start to install your, your built environment and your library, Homebrew, and, and these tools that, that you love. 12 CPU core, 32 gigabyte of memory. That's the hardware we have for you running in the cloud. More video like this on my YouTube uh, channel. Uh, the gist is available on GitHub. Please share your feedback with me on Twitter. Love to hear from you. Thank you for watching this video and see you soon for another one.